we have another great action figure to look at. Here we have the Falcon Turbocoptero from Estrella in Brazil. Now I purchased this product ooh, a while ago from Cotswold Collectibles and I wanted to show him off today. Estrella is a company out of Brazil who has been making G the G.I. Joe equivalent named Falcon. Now they have been making these action figures on and off since the late 1970s. These figures are in the design of the G.I. Joe Adventure Team action figures. Now this figure comes with what is shown here. Now let's take a quick look at the box. This box has a giant window in front so you can see the figure uh, along with the copter that comes with it. Now it also has some fantastic artwork here. Now this artwork pays homage to the old G.I. Joe, Action Man, and even Kuiper Man figures who have similar artwork. Here you have the logo for this particular action figure. Now here this figure is out of Brazil and you can see here it pays homage to Christ the Redeemer statue, which is in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now, here we see the actual logo, the Falcon logo, and it actually indicates 80 years that the company has been in existence, but this is probably dated a little bit. Now, up on top of the Falcon logo here, it translates to Commandos in Action. And the name of it is Turbocoptero or Turbocopter, right? Air Adventurer, right? And it indicates that it is for ages three plus. Now, here is the top of the box. Here's the back of the box. Now, the back of the box shows a uh, images of a... Falcon Explorer action figure that is available as well. And here we see that this figure comes with Kung Fu Grip. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side, again indicating Kung Fu Grip. Here we see the Falcon and then we see the Estrella logo. This is a great, great, great box. Very, very eye-catching. So if you can imagine watching or walking into a department store or even a toy store and seeing these action figures lined up on the shelves, begging you to come and buy the figure. Let's take a look at the copter portion of this action figure set. Now, the copter portion is yellow with black and the blades of the actual uh, copter are gray in color. Now, if I were to flip this around and bring it in closer, you can see the Estrella stamp and logo on here saying that this is made in Brazil. Now, this particular copter has these straps right here. These are the ones that mount to the figure and they go through these loops here and that's how you attach the figure to this copter along with these arms that swing down once the figure is attached and this is where he holds on to the particular copter and if i can get this working right here we go see this is where and then this is the blade portion now the blade portion is removable uh, I'm just not going to remove it for right now. Here's the back portion of the copter. And if we look at this particular button here, if we look at it, see if I can get this to work. If we press it, it spins the blades of the actual copter portion. So this is the actual copter portion of this set. Now let's take a look at the figure. Here we see his face. 
Again, the hair and the beard are flocked, darker brown flock. His head motion up, down, side to side, and it does completely turn all the way around. Now, his body is of a harder plastic, and it is a muscle body. And I will show you when I open him up here in a second or so, in a couple minutes. Now, his uniform is of a darker green, similar to the G.I. Joe Man of Action uniform, except, again, a darker color. He does have one pocket with the Falcon symbol. Now, just like the G.I. Joe Adventure Team, at an AT right here for Adventure Team, this is a CA for Commandos in Action or Commandos in Acción. Now, his arms, again, do move a little popping, but that's to be expected. And his wrist spin up, down. Again, his elbows. Now, his waist. His knees, his legs, up, all the way around. His ankles do spin. Now, he is wearing short black boots, similar to the G.I. Joe. And overall, this is a fantastic figure. And I'm glad that he is in my collection. If I were to sort of open his jacket up you can see that this is in the design of the gi joe muscle body of the late 1970s and again his hips or his waist bends all the way around so he is a fully articulated action figure and again with the gripping hands or kung fu grip hands which can be used to hold on to things, weapons, knives, the copter. So this is a fantastic action figure. Let's do a little bit of comparing. I happen to have a G.I. Joe Black Spider Rendezvous figure, which is a reissue of the original G.I. Joe Adventure Team Black Widow Rendezvous. Now, this figure is from 2002. So let's compare these two action figures and kind of take a look at the differences. Or you can see the similarities between these two figures. Of course, the first thing is, you know, different color copter, different color uniform. Now, here it has the Adventure Team logo, right? And here you see the Commandos in Action logo. Uh, the figures are similar, except this particular figure, when I take his helmet off, you'll see that he doesn't have a beard. Now, these figures are similar in a sense where they both have the Kung Fu grip hands, right? And they both have the buttons, even though this button here is a little different, that turns the copter. The copter design is pretty similar. Uh, they're not that different. But the action figure for this one here comes with... Uh, level revolver with holster it comes with a, a dagger knife he also comes with a rifle that i will put right here uh, that comes with the actual figure this particular figure has no weapons on him to set per se but these two are both great action figures and of course this figure here does not have a helmet and this one does have a helmet here we can see the difference in action figures for these two particular figures. Let me zoom in a bit and so that you can see the differences in the action figures. Both fantastic action figures. Great, great homage to the original G.I. Joe Adventure Team action figures.
Let me know what you think of this figure by leaving a comment down below. Thank you for watching this video and be on the lookout for more upcoming videos. Now if you would do me a favor and like and subscribe to this channel and if interested ring the notification bell to receive future notice or receive notice of future videos. So let's add to the action with Action Joe Figs.